Al Pacino, one of the most iconic actors of all time, recently opened up about a terrifying moment during his bout with COVID-19 that brought him closer to death than ever before. In a deeply revealing interview with the New York Times, the legendary actor, now 84 years old, reflected on his near-death experience during the pandemic. The ordeal which occurred in 2020 was a sobering reminder of the fragility of life even for someone as seemingly indestructible as the man who brought Michael Corleone and Tony Montana to life on the big screen. The story began in what seemed like just another day during the early phases of the pandemic. Pacino, like so many others, had contracted the COVID-19 virus, and his symptoms were worsening. He started experiencing fever, dehydration, and a general feeling of malaise that soon escalated into something far more dangerous. The situation took a dramatic turn when he suddenly lost consciousness in his own home. Pacino described that moment with chilling clarity I was sitting there in my house and I was gone, he said. I didn't have a pulse. Unbeknownst to him at the time, his life was hanging by a thread. Fortunately, one of his employees, recognizing that Pacino was feeling unusually unwell, had already summoned a nurse to check on him. That quick action proved to be life-saving. Within moments, Pacino's situation became dire and paramedics were called. What followed was a scene that could have come straight out of one of the high-stakes dramas Pacino has starred in over the years. In a matter of minutes, they were there, Pacino recalled, referring to the emergency response team. The ambulance was in front of my house. I had about six paramedics in that living room, and there were two doctors, and they had these outfits on that looked like they were from outer space or something. The medical team worked swiftly to revive Pacino, bringing him back from the brink. He was not conscious for the resuscitation but later reflected on the surreal nature of the experience. Despite his brush with death, Pacino shared that he didn't encounter any of the stereotypical near-death visions, such as a bright light or out-of-body experiences. I didn't see the white light or anything he remarked with his signature blend of dry humor and introspective thoughtfulness. There's nothing there. I'd never thought about it in my life. But you know actors it sounds good to say I died once. What is it when there's no more? Pacino's comments revealed a certain philosophical resignation to the notion of mortality one that perhaps only comes with age and experience. He admitted that death isn't something that scares him anymore, especially as he's grown older and more reflective about life's inevitable end. You get a different view of death as you get older, he explained. It's just the way it is. I didn't ask for it. It just comes like a lot of things just come. Far from being rattled by the event, Pacino approached it with a sense of calm acceptance, acknowledging that death is a natural part of life that simply comes when it is meant to. In this deeply personal interview, Pacino also opened up about the things that give him comfort in life, particularly his family and his children. Fatherhood has always been a significant part of Pacino's life, and he takes immense pride in his four children. His eldest daughter, Julie, is now 34 years old, while his twins, Anton and Olivia, are 23. In 2023, Pacino became a father once again when his girlfriend, Noor Alfala, gave birth to their son, Roman. For Pacino, his children are a source of great consolation, providing him with both purpose and a sense of continuity. In many ways, they represent his living legacy, the part of him that will continue long after he's gone. In addition to the comfort he finds in his family, Pacino also reflected on his career, which has spanned more than five decades and has left an indelible mark on the world of film. He expressed a deep sense of satisfaction with his body of work, noting that it stands as part of his lasting legacy. However, he also admitted that his feelings about making films have evolved over the years. While he once found the process more fulfilling, he now finds it can be somewhat tedious. Usually when I make films, I'm not very happy, Pacino shared. They can be tedious, but you can go to your camper and do whatever you want. Pacino also revealed that during the often long and monotonous breaks between scenes, he has found solace in modern distractions like YouTube and TikTok. There's so many things on YouTube. He said with a grin, explaining that he enjoys diving into the seemingly endless array of videos available on the platform. Even TikTok, the social media sensation known for its short, snappy clips, has caught his attention. It's a surprising but endearing admission from the veteran actor, showing that even a Hollywood legend can appreciate the lighter, more whimsical side of the internet. When asked about the films he's made, Pacino pointed to one surprising choice as being particularly special to him, the 2011 comedy Jack and Jill, in which he played a fictionalized version of himself opposite Adam Sandler. Despite the film being panned by critics and widely considered one of the worst movies of that year, Pacino revealed that it holds a special place in his heart for a very personal reason. At the time, he was facing serious financial difficulties, and the film offered him a much-needed opportunity. It came at a time in my life that I needed it, because it was after I found out I had no more money, he explained. My accountant was in prison, and I needed something quickly. So I took this. 
Despite the film's negative reception, Pacino has no regrets about his decision to take on the role. In fact, he shared that he would love for his youngest son, Roman, to watch Jack and Jill one day, simply because it's funny. For Pacino, the film was more than just a paycheck, it was a light-hearted project that brought some much-needed humor into his life during a challenging time. As the interview drew to a close, Pacino reflected on his decades-long career, his many accomplishments, and the legacy he hopes to leave behind. Despite all he's achieved, he remains remarkably grounded, grateful for the love of his family and the opportunities he's had along the way. In the end, his brush with death has given him a renewed sense of perspective, reminding him of the preciousness of life and the importance of cherishing every moment. With his family by his side, his rich body of work to his name, and a calm acceptance of life's natural ebb and flow, Al Pacino seems to be at peace. Whether he's watching TikTok videos in his trailer or reflecting on his most famous roles, the actor remains a cultural icon, beloved by fans around the world. His story is a testament to the enduring power of resilience, family, and finding joy in unexpected places even in the face of life's greatest challenges.